are my 10 photography challenges if you are stuck at home and can't go out for whatever reason that may be. Stick around until the end because I do have a bonus challenge for you. It doesn't quite fit into the photo challenge, so I am adding it on as an extra as it is still quite fun. Okay, let's get started. Hello everyone, if you are new here, my name is Jenny. I am a wedding and family photographer based in Winchester in Hampshire in the UK. I like doing challenges every now and again because it gets me out of a rut. Some photographers may experience the same thing when you are doing the same thing over and over again. You might get used to that certain way of doing things and so you can get stuck in a rut. Doing challenges makes you step out of your comfort zone and actually explore something else and so hopefully the creativity can then click back in again. So taking part in challenges are good for established photographers, but these exercises are also good for those who are maybe just getting into photography or would like to take up photography as their hobby. These challenges or exercises are also good for those people, as I said, who are stuck at home and maybe are looking for something creative to do. Now you can use any type of camera for most of the challenges. So you can use your phone camera or you can use a DSLR or a mirrorless system camera, any type of camera. Um, there is only one challenge where you do have to have an interchangeable lens camera and the reason for that will become clear when I get to the challenge. But for most of them, you can use any camera. Okay, let's get started. So the first one is my one light challenge. Now this challenge will help you see how light affects your subject in different ways. For this one, I like to shoot in a fairly dark room. It doesn't have to be very dark. It, you just need to have your main light source kind of brighter than the ambient um, light in the room. So choose your main light source. It does help if it is continuous light for this exercise. Um, so use either a lamp or the light on your phone and move that closer and away from the subject and see how that actually plays with the shadows that land on your subject. So with this challenge, you will learn to see hard lighting and soft lighting. Number two is take a selfie a day. Now, I know, certainly in my case, I became a photographer because I didn't want to be in front of the camera, but taking a selfie a day, actually taking a creative selfie a day, will help you think outside the box. Now, you don't have to share any of these selfies with anybody else, but you can take them and practice on your creativity. Now, there is a YouTuber called uh, Kotova Kika, she has a few videos where she shows you how you don't have to have your face in it to actually take a creative selfie. And also take a look at her Instagram for more inspiration along these lines. Number three is flat lace. Now this is good to work on your design to make things as pretty as possible on a table. It's a chance to maybe practice product photography or why not try photographing the most mundane household item that you can find and try to make it as creative and exciting as possible. Number four is recreating a classic. This could be a classic photo or a classical piece of art and you can study how it was created and then recreate that in your own home. Or why not try recreating something from your family archive? Have you seen those photos on the internet where there's a very old photo of a baby or toddlers or siblings and then later on, when decades later, when they're all grown up, they actually recreate that photo? Those are quite fun. Now, number five is the challenge where you do need an interchangeable lens camera. This is because the challenge is free lensing. This is where you take the lens off of the camera body and then actually move it round to get the focus on your subject and you take the photo with the lens being off the body. This is quite a fun challenge. I like doing it myself. I don't do it all that often, but it is a way of um, kind of trying out what a tilt and shift lens looks like or the lens baby 
lenses. If you are shooting with a mirrorless camera like the Sony a7 III that I have, you do have to go into the menu and actually enable the shoot without lens option so that you can do this. Okay, so number six is food photography. Now I know that in the age of Instagram, we all like taking photos of our food, but for this challenge, I was thinking more about going through and thinking about a story. So if you saw my video on how to shoot Christmas day, I will link it up here, then that actually talks about stories. So that's one way of um, applying it to food photography as well. Maybe you want to take photos of um, the ingredients being prepared, of the cooking itself, of plating up, and then maybe the meal itself, and then end up with an empty plate. Number seven is shooting on one focal length for the entire day. If you have a zoom lens, choose one focal length and stick with that for the entire day and just zoom with your feet. I have actually been doing this challenge already. I will link the video on how I shot with a 40 millimeter lens up here. And in that challenge, I actually chose a focal length that I wouldn't normally use for the event that um, I was shooting that day. So again, this is another way of challenging yourself. If you choose a focal length that you don't usually use for a particular thing, then maybe uh, try using a different focal length and trying to really use it in a different way or for a different purpose. Number eight is shooting through something. So with this, you can work on layering. Now I do like uh, shooting through things uh, with a with a wide aperture so that everything's kind of fuzzy in, in the foreground and then the point of focus is in the background. I like to do that. But with this, maybe, again, if you're not used to it, then you could work on layering to tell a story or to be part of the story that you're trying to tell. So you can make everything kind of in focus from the foreground to the background and actually work on layering different aspects in an image to tell a story. So number nine is choosing one color to photograph and having different shades and tints of the same color in an image. Or if you're not used to shooting in black and white, maybe you can choose to actually photograph in black and white. But obviously for this challenge, if you're used to shooting in black and white, then don't do that. Choose a single color to photograph in all the different shades and tints because that way you are still challenging yourself. And the last one, number 10, is 10 photographs in one room. Now you can choose to make things difficult for yourself and maybe choose a room that is quite bare, or the other way of challenging yourself is to maybe stand in one spot in a room and take 10 photos from that one spot. And hopefully this will challenge your compositional skills. Please click on the like button if you like these challenges and do tell me in the comments down below how you get on and if you are actually going to participate. Now for my bonus challenge. This really isn't a photo challenge, but a video one. And this challenge is taking one second of video each day when you're in isolation. Then after your period of isolation, you can have a great highlights video of your time in your home. As per usual, before you go, I'd really appreciate a subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Please like and share, it really helps out my small channel. And also by liking this video, I find out what type of content you like so I can make more of those types of videos. Okay, until next time, bye.